suit up. Jane Driver! Pew, pew, pew. More than meets the eye! Da 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 da! Autobots wage their battle to defeat the evil forces of the NHL! Jane Driver! Robots in disguise! Yo, what button is that? A set! James Reimer! Pew pew! Jane Transform! More than meets the eye! James Reimer! <laughs> I need to move out. Ah! Whoa! You serious? <laughs> Mind blown. We need idea. <laughs> I'm dumb. Deli hard. We get to the game, please. <laughs> Leafs win. 2-1 over the Washington Capitals in the shootout. Optimus Rhyme, James Reimer stopping 49 of 50 shots in regulation and overtime, and then another two in the shootout. Leafs get outshot by the Caps in the first period, but only 11 to 10. They're shooting with them. And with all this aura and attention surrounding the return of Mikhail Grabowski, the Leafs shut down Ovechkin pretty well. Then almost exactly halfway through the second, Leafs on the power play. Jake Gardner, floater. David Clarkson tips it. It goes in. They review it just so they don't hurt anyone's feelings. It counts. 1-0 Leafs. Nazem Kadri getting an assist on that play too. The Leafs finally seem to be given that little Clarkson Kadri loop -a line a little bit of a shot. Now right at the end of the second, weird play, scary play, Mikhail Grabowski goes down and Clarkson skate comes up and cuts him right in the face. And Grabowski booed throughout the game, uh, booed when he was going off bleeding from the face. In fact, I saw a few tweets from people going, oh look at Grabowski selling that. Isn't it a huge criticism of bloggers that they don't actually watch the games? And this just made the third period a perfect storm. First First of all, even though Grabowski had to leave the game temporarily, whether you loved him or hated him as a Toronto Maple Leaf, you knew because he got up on his own two skates under his own strength, he was returning to the game. I don't know how to say it's just a flesh wound in Russian, but that is Grabowski's life motto. And I'm watching the game with some friends and we're all getting nervous because all game long they're like, Ovechkin's only had one shot. Hey, you know who's only got one shot? Ovechkin. Ovechkin said they found 19 different ways to say Ovechkin only had one shot. Third period, five. Who had the Caps' long goal? Ovechkin. Thou shalt not tempt the hockey gods, for they will poopeth on thine dreams. Poopeth. Mike Green chips it in. It was a bit of a lucky bounce back to Ovechkin's stick, but once it finds its way there, it doesn't take long to leave. 1-1, one, one, OT. OT solves nothing. Shoot it. And was it just me, or did it seem like both teams were just like, alright, let's get the point? Because it was a super anticlimactic ending to regulation. Overtime began, and I'm like, why do both teams only have four players out for the face off. Oh, it's over time. All right, here we go. I had no idea. So now who's not watching the game? In the shootout, JVR's goal, nasty. Lupul's goal, nice and simple. James Reimer stopping Ovechkin, Backstrom, and Brower. Leafs win. Followed by a Mufasa-like Reimer celebration. Just, yeah! It's barely over a quarter way through the season, and that's how he celebrates winning a regular season game. Turned up. When cute little pincher cheeks Manitoba boy James Reimer's like, let's do this, you know the team is heading in the right direction. Now, Win and you're in. I believe that's how the Leafs goalie situation was supposed to go this season, correct? Bernier lost his last start. Not necessarily his fault, but he did. Reimer, 49 stops, two in the shootout, and they win. The Leafs' next game is against the Columbus Blue Jackets at home, and I tell you what, Reimer better get that start. I would love to hear the rationale behind him not getting the start. This isn't even a knock on Bernier. Bernier has been a fantastic goalie for the Leafs this season, but how... Do you follow that performance up by not putting Reimer in? I just, I don't understand. And if he puts on a show against Columbus, you play him against Pittsburgh too, because you know what? He stoned the Penguins last time. After that, James Reimer, win or lose, you go to Bernier for the Sabres game, give him a chance to redeem himself for the Friday loss last time. Then the next night, Reimer again, Saturday night, you play the Montreal Canadiens, come on. Then the Leafs come home for two games, Sharks and Stars, both Western Conference teams, I go with Bernier in both games. Bruins on December 8th, I don't care who you start to be honest. December 11th, Leafs play the Kings, give Bernier a chance to win that one, and the next night the Leafs play the Blues, Reimer. Now that it's forever on the internet, I want to see how close the Leafs come to doing that. Obviously, if someone gets hurt, well, pfft. question of the game, do you remember the last time the Leafs had goaltending this good? I mean, Bernier and Reimer. You gotta go back to at least elementary school for me with Curtis Joseph just stealing the show every night. But even he didn't really ever have a crazy good backup. This could end up being the best single season tandem the Leafs have ever had. Ever. That's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. We're recording a brand new Steve Dangle podcast today, so look out for that. Click like on this video, click subscribe on my channel, and I will see you next time. Roll out! Leafs win 2-1 over the ow <laughs> This is so stupid